I just built a tank out of Amazon boxes and here's why. When I was a kid, every time we would get packages at the house, I would use the boxes to build whatever my imagination could come up with. And funny enough, not too long ago, my mom sent me a picture of something I came up with as a kid and never got the chance to create. And that was a tank. So my goal is to build this tank out of cardboard just like I dreamt of as a kid. But first, there's three things this tank needs in order to be classified as a real tank. The first thing, it needs a control room. The second thing, it needs to drive. And the third thing, it needs to shoot. Nothing like super dangerous, but just like shoot something. You know? Now, in order to make this tank drive, I'm gonna need to build it around something that can already drive. And lucky for me, I have this portable movie theater from a previous video, and this thing drives. I think it'll work. Bro, I've never got the chance to drive this. I think I could drive it once. Don't crash it. All right, what I want you to do is put something super cool on it. I'm going. Something cool on some like mad manly stuff. Got you. Thanks. <laughs> chair no <laughs> bro those sweat stains i was nervous you weren't gonna let me keep the chair and TV. <laughs> so we removed the tv and couch from the portable movie theater which was thankfully easier than expected and just 15 minutes later it drives and because the extra weight of the tv and couch was removed this turned out to be way faster than we expected all right so two things one, we got our platform, so we can build the structure of the tank on this. Two, if anybody asks if we hit that car, you all tell them no. Let's get on to the next step. Now, since this tank will be made out of cardboard, we're gonna need a strong frame to support the cardboard. And after a little bit of searching through the garage, I found the perfect thing. Well, we have this old changing room. Remember when we did the toilet video? Yeah. I bet you if we take these curtains off and just lay it on its side, it would be a perfect frame. So we have like this box and we can build everything around it. Imagine if inside an actual tank is just a changing room curtain. <laughs> <or something. laughs> I literally thought we'd have no use for this after we filmed that video, but we might be able to use this to help build the frame of the tank. So we took the old changing room out of the garage, threw away the curtain and replaced the frame on the platform. And luckily the frame fit perfectly. But if we were gonna turn this frame into a tank, we had one big problem. This would be literally the tallest tank in the world if it was this tall. So I think we're gonna try to take off some of these poles. This way we can lower this whole thing down. Try to make this tank a little bit shorter to the ground. That's better, right? That gets us down like six yeah. inches. Uh-huh. All right. So next thing we do is drill this into place. Yeah. All right, so the idea is to take these clamps here so we can clamp this on and attach the bars to the frame of this. You charge the batteries? Uh, no. Sick. All right, we're gonna need to plug these in. I'm gonna be using the F3800 as my main source of power throughout this video to participate in their 24 hour backup power challenge. So after plugging the drill battery in and grabbing a new one. Let's go drill this thing in. And just after a few minutes of drilling. Right, let's flip it over and see how it looks. You know like inside of a tank, how they yeah. have that whole room they can go in? So this will make the perfect control room. This is where I can actually sit and steer the tank. Is it perfect? No but it should work. So now that we had the whole frame built, it was time for the most important part, and that was the cardboard boxes. And well, luckily for me, I have a bunch of Amazon boxes from a bunch of previous videos where we bought stuff. Bro, you know how long this would have taken me as a kid to get this many boxes? Bro, you should have just came to my house. My parents hoarded like hundreds of boxes in our attic. More than this? Yeah, and now that I think about it, I think they also put a cardboard tank up there. Shut up. Just kidding. Yeah, and bro, I was like, you know how much work that one just saved us? All right, well, if we need more boxes, we know where to go. Your parents' attic. Oh, they don't still have them. I used them to build a cardboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, the first thing I'm gonna try to build is the bottom half of the tank. This is where the wheels and the control room will be. What was that? Yo! I was just trying to get them out faster. <laughs> Did you break that one? Yeah. Why? I'm trying to get out faster. <laughs> now let's be real. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna build a tank out of cardboard box. So I did some research before this, but the only picture I could find was this. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna be basing this on. So with our new cardboard tank reference, we started adding the cardboard to the frame and shaping it to create our tank. Bro. Bro, that looks like the front of a tank. That really does, wow. I did not think that was gonna work that easily. Who would've thought that ordering all those packages would've came in handy? Right. So we spent the next couple of hours just cutting cardboard pieces and fitting them to the frame, but we quickly realized we might have a big problem. 
you think that's going to be strong enough? Like if we put, because you know we have to put the section yeah. on top that we actually open up and that's And the cannon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, it's going to fold pretty easily. You know Can we just I'm double doing? layer it? That's think? what I'm thinking. Do we just double layer it? I think so. So we double layered the top of the tank and just like that. Bro, that actually looks so sick. That's a tank. <laughs> What are we building, bro? All right, now we got the top on the tank. It's time to tape it all down. And after an hour of taping down every single part of the tank, we added the sidewalls and traced them out. That way we could cut them down to the exact shape to fit the tank shape perfectly. What, what, what am I holding? <laughs> an owl <laughs> so we added the newly cut sidewall to test if the shape would fit That's crazy and after a few minutes Bro, this looks insane wow that is like starting to really look like a tank all right we got one of the walls done now it's time to make the other wall and after 30 minutes of finishing the other side and some other details Boom. How crazy is it's that? It's coming together, bro. But as good as this tank looks slight problem. What's that? How do we get inside? I didn't even think of that. I'll do it again inside of the tank. So I cut out the door in the back of the tank and just 15 minutes later. That's sick, dude. <gasps> this is sick. Literally have a full control room in here. Jeez, it is hot inside here. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is build a hatch right here. This way I can actually poke my head out of the tank to drive it. <laughs> this is so cool. Now it is starting to get dark out here, so we got a big light. Oh. It's like it's daytime again. Check this out, bro. We have this massive Amazon box. Bro. Oh, yes. And then what we yep. do is we'll have like the barrel going out the front here, and then I can poke my head through this. <laughs> no we'll way. make like a hatch in the top that's, and we'll stick my head through. That's perfect. So we traced out the box and plugged in the saw, and after a couple minutes of cutting out the top of the tank, wow. This is crazy. So we added the top Amazon box over the hole and just like that. <laughs> That's so cool. So we taped the Amazon box to the top of the tank and just like that, this looks insane so far. I cannot wait to see it finished. Like, look at that, bro. The hatch is so crazy. <laughs> you like the little handle I put on there? Yeah. Good first day. It worked. Work. So we came outside this morning to look at the tank and two things happened. One, there was dew all over the ground and everything. So it warped a lot of the boxes. And then when the sun came out and everything dried up, it pulled up a ton of the duct tape. Before we work on this anymore, we're gonna go through and reinforce all this with more duct tape. And after an hour of taping up the structure, the next thing I wanna work on is the control room. Ugh. It is super dark in here. So I'm gonna add lights around the entire inside of this so it lights up like a super cool control room. It's so freaking hot in here. All right, let's do it. Now, throughout this video, I have been using the Anchor Solix F3800 and its solar panels to power a lot of the tools and equipment we've been using today. And let me tell you guys, this thing has been a literal lifesaver. The Anchor Solix is a long lasting portable power station that you can use to power any device you can think of from your phone to your power tools. And in this case, air conditioning. Oh. There's even a handle to pull it around, a light bar, an app control. You can even recharge the batteries using a portable solar panel, or you can just plug it into an outlet. With the Solix power station, you can add up to six extra battery packs to extend its capacity with enough battery life to power your home for a week. Anchor Solix is launching their power outage living challenge, so come and join their contest. You can scan the QR code to enter the Anchor Solix power outage Facebook group and share your outage experience. Starting with when the power is off, I and ending with whatever experience you had. Show off your energy, ingenuity, and win the prize. This thing is genuinely awesome, so if you're looking for a generator that you can take anywhere, make sure you check out the Anchor Solix F3800, which will be linked in the top of my description. All right, all the lights are put up inside. It's time to plug it into the generator and see if they work. Yo. Crazy, right? Oh my gosh, bro. And with the lights working perfectly, it was time to add the most important part of the tank, the barrel. The only problem is I have no idea where to find giant tubes of cardboard to make the barrel. They do. Have you tried that store that sells giant tubes of cardboard? Nick, that's not a real store. See, told you. All right, we got the tubes. This is roughly what it will look like. Wow. Bro. That's 
Perfect. That's crazy looking. Oh, by the way, you owe me 20 bucks. For what? I told you that that story existed. Nick, we never bet $20. Now you owe me 20 more. <laughs> so we duct taped the two tubes together to create the barrel. And as soon as we put it on the tank, this thing looked awesome. Yeah, I think that's perfect. The next thing we gotta do is figure out how to not let this barrel fall. I have an idea. So I added some wire around the end of the barrel here and it should keep this thing in place and make the barrel stand up. Nick, how's it look? Looks like a perfect barrel. Oh, bro, yeah, that's perfect. And although the barrel looked awesome, we still needed to figure out how to actually make it shoot. So I went online and did a bit of research and I came across these things called potato cannons. These things literally launch potatoes out of a cannon. And this looks like it would work perfectly for the tank. So while I waited for the potato cannon to arrive, Nick had a genius idea. We should add wheels to the bottom of this to make it look like the wheels on a tank. Oh, that would actually be sick. Question though. What should we use for the wheels? Check this out. I found this old clock back there that would be perfect to draw a wheel out of. Imagine that's just perfect sizing. I think it might be. So we traced out the clock onto the cardboard boxes and cut out four circles to use as the wheels. And after 30 minutes of cutting, bro, it looks like it's about to drive away. <laughs> so we spent the rest of the night adding the wheels to the tank and a few extra things to make this tank look as realistic as possible. And after a good night's rest, it was time to see the final product. <laughs> that looks insane. That looks like a real tank. There's two things left we need to do. One, we need to make sure this thing can drive. And two, we need to make it shoot. But since the potato cannon hasn't arrived yet, we're gonna work on making this thing drive. So I added the pole and handle on the mechanism it already had and added a stool. That way I wouldn't have to squat while I was driving the tank. And just as I finished the driving console, absolutely perfect. The potato cannon arrived. I've never used one of these before, have you? No. I'm actually so nervous right now. Hey guys, I'm gonna test this potato cannon. Right now? Yep, so here we go. Ah! <laughs> so I followed the instructions and added the potato to the end of the barrel. Then I pushed it down the barrel with this stick. And then apparently you just spray some hairspray in the back. And after closing it up, it was finally time to shoot this thing. Here we go. Okay, or maybe not. Didn't work. This thing is also very dangerous, so please do not try this at home. As you can tell, both me and Nick are trained professionals. And after trying again, three, two, Yeah, it's not working. Oh! <laughs> I literally turned the camera away. This potato cannon was so powerful. So after having some fun with it, we attached the potato cannon to the tank, unloaded of course, so it's safe, and it was finally time to test the full tank out. Now as a kid, I only built small things out of boxes like forts and spaceships. Never in my life did I think I would be able to build an actual tank out of cardboard. And I can see why, because this was super hard to build. But after seeing it all come together, it was finally time to test it out. We gotta take it out on the street. We could never do that. No. This is crazy. We're trying to say. much fun as I was having driving this tank on the road, there was still one thing left I had to do. So let's see if this thing shoots. Fire in the hole. Ah! Whoa, it works! What? Yeah, that was awesome! And just like that, I made a tank that I can literally drive and shoot just like I dreamed of as a kid. Holy crap! Now finally, there was just one last thing I wanted to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, click here and watch another. While you do that, I'm gonna go chase down the Amazon driver with this. Bye now.